Hello and welcome. This painting is going to be of some trees over a lake. I've used Van Dyke Brown Sepia and they're both mission colours. I've used a yellow ochre and I've also used some white gouache and ultramarine blue. They were the four colours I used for this. The paper I'm using is a £140 cold press paper with a slight knot on it, rough sort of, it's got a slight texture but not too much. And I am also using a, a rigger brush and a, I think it's a one and a half in, inch hake brush. I also used a white Posca pen and some diluted bleach in a little dropping bottle. Oh, and some paper towel as well. I started off by getting my colours ready in a nice flat palette and wetting the paper. I then dropped in a dilute mix of the ultramarine with a little bit of yellow ochre in it. I just left that and let it do its thing. I then came in with some sepia and ultramarine blue and some of the Van Dyke brown just to add a tree background and I painted this wet into wet. I've got my board at a slight angle so all the colours running downwards. Here I added a bit of yellow ochre just to make the trees for the green for the trees and I just mixed the colour on the paper rather than in the palette. I then came in with a wet brush and just let it all flow downwards across the paper. Then I added in some more Van Dyke Brown and the Ultramarine mixed together and now I'm just dragging the colour down with a wet brush down the page and letting it all flow down to create like, like the reflections on the water. Here I'm coming in with a dry brush just to remove some of the colour because I want to create a bank where, where the water meets the land. I'm just teasing the watercolour downwards to create the reflections and then I'm thinking it's still watery so you have to have some horizontal strokes across the page to create the um, effect of water and here I'm just dropping in a bit of blue into that to reflect the sky. Now I'm coming in with the rigger brush and I'm going to start creating some branches. I'm also creating the effect of like tree trunks and branches in the background. Here I'm using a bit of cut up credit card just to capture some like rocks on the bank of the lake. Now I'm coming in with the sepia again and I'm creating the tree trunks like in the distance.
and being really loose and like spontaneous and just scribbling about with the brush and just be free and don't think about it too much. Okay, I'm just coming in with a bit of ultramarine blue just to add a bit more blue to the lake. I'm trying to create the effect of a really nice still summer pond so remember you have to create the reflection straight under so if you do a tree trunk on in the woods in the, at the in the distance you have to reflect it in the lake here I'm just coming with my bleach mixture and I've gone along the horizon line at like at the base of the trees I love using the bleach it just bleaches out some of the color and creates a lovely like wash back effect and it's just really pretty I think Again here I'm just working on the shadows on the water. Back to my hake brush I'm going to use um, it's a mixture of the ultramarine and the yellow ochre and I'm creating some leaves in the tree in the foreground. Then back to my rigger to work on the trees in the distance. Now I'm trying to make the tree in the foreground become to come towards me a bit by making it darker because I haven't done it dark enough really. I'm just working on the more branches. I'm using my rigger brush to do this and then I'm just flicking about trying to create the little branches of the tree. I didn't like the white area in the background here so I've gone over it with some ultramarine and sepia mixed together and I'm going to make it into the bank so it's not like the focal point of the painting slap bang in the middle. Again remembering to create the reflection in the water. Yeah, I've just come in with a round brush and I'm just trying to soften the reflections and some of the little details. Again, I'm darkening up the tree in the foreground to make it come towards you a bit more and adding some grass and texture at the bottom. Back to the rigger to make some nice free lines that you don't have much control over just like scribbly lines and it gives a really lovely effect at this point I like to take a photo just to see what details I need to add I then decided it needed a bit of green in the foreground just to co inside with the green in the background
Here I'm just adding a few more tree trunks in the distance and making it look more tree-y, if that's a word. <laughs> Again here I'm using my rigger to create some more like little tree tree treelings, are they called tree I don't know what to call them and some darker detail in the foreground. And then back to my hate brush, mixing up a mixture of the yellow ochre and the ultramarine blue. I'm so good with my words explaining things, aren't I? I like making up words, sorry about that. <laughs> Hopefully these like leaves, the impression of leaves on the trees and makes it look more like summer than winter. I then decided I'd lost a bit of the light on the very bank of the lake at the back. So I came in with some white gouache just to pick out a few areas. I didn't do too much. And then because it wasn't working as well, I do like using a white Posca pen and I came in with that. I used a dryer just to dry everything before I came in with the white Posca pen because um, it was still quite damp. Just finished the highlights and now I'm taking another photo just to check on the perspective of things and see what else I need to add. It's, it's really good to take a photo of your work as you're working because you see it like through a different eye or a different angle and you can see what needs correcting. Here I decided I needed to correct the level. It was a bit wonky and water's always hor horizontal so make sure that you've got that in your painting. One last photo just to doubly check. 
and I think I'm finished I really do thank you for joining me I hope you enjoyed this please if you'd like a sketch of this please go and join my patreon and I also give you a detailed supply list and also the final photo of the painting for you to download thank you for joining me please like and subscribe if you haven't already thank you bye